Good day, July 21st, 2020. Uh, this property is the property I had the bulldozer on. Can't remember what episode number it is. You can look back in the archives. But I just wanted to show you one plot here. There's um, 11 different little plots here. Little and big. They, they range in size. But this was complete woods. Similar to that. Just two summers ago. At this time, they started logging this time, two summers ago. Um, last year, I planted brassicas and rye in this field, all the fields. I have been using Morgan's Organic Fertilizer Blend. Lots of lime has been put down. Um, and then this spring, I came in and planted soybeans and some buckwheat. Well, the buckwheat seed must have had some sort of sorghum in it or something because... Uh, yeah, this corn looking stuff is sorghum. So that happens at elevators. They, if they're sifting through buckwheat and they're sifting through sorghum and sifting through all these different seeds, that sometimes get mixed in there. And I think that's what happened. Um, this utilization cage I put up after I planted the soybeans. Now I did not plant those turnips that are looking about baseball size. What happened? Well, the brassicas I planted last fall reseeded themselves when I disc this because my planter is a is a no-till disc, semi-no-till disc planter. So it activated those seeds and when there's no deer browse on them, which is in this cage, look what you get. Now, is it a foolproof every year type of thing I've had this happen many times but no it's not a foolproof because out of the cage when the deer can eat it all and you'll see there's just a variety of vegetation going on here um, you'll see that this is the size of turnips you get you can see the browse they've had on it they've done on it so just a you know sight and sound I guess of being out here in the woods and and uh, food plotting. So just wanted to do that little update and thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hunting season is close, closing in.